Okay, so it's Sunday evening and I quit coffee cold turkey starting Saturday morning. So it's really been since Friday morning that I've had my last um, coffee. And yeah, I decided to quit caffeine or at least take a break from it because, well, for one reason, I read the book called Dopamine Nation and trying to decrease things that increase dopamine, things like social media, um, television, um, YouTube, <laughs> that's one uh, that I get caught with. And then, um, yeah, things like for me, coffee, um, chocolate. So caffeine is one that I've never really taken a break from. In the last 14 years, I regularly drink at least two cups of coffee that are you know, bigger than an actual metric cup. So I calculated that on average, I drink about 540 milligrams of caffeine a day. So it's not an insignificant amount. And uh, I was kind of looking at reducing gradually. And then I just kind of said, I woke up Saturday morning and just said, I'm going to rip the Band-Aid off and quit completely uh, cold turkey. So my goal is to try to get to 30 days uh, without a coffee, and then I'll see if I want to go back. Um, I was expecting the experience to be awful. Uh, I talked to a few friends that have cut coffee cold turkey, and um, they just said it was really bad at first, uh, headaches and stuff like that. And I'll say on Saturday morning, not having that coffee felt really weird. I felt um, a little foggy. I felt lethargic. And I was really concerned that I was in for a rough ride. Um, but what I um, was really excited uh, to share was that, so Saturday morning and then into the afternoon, I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do to keep myself busy? And I thought, you know, exercise would be good. Uh, I like to go rock climbing and they have a gym there. Uh, so I went rock climbing for about two hours. And then I went into the gym, did a workout. And then I actually went into the sauna afterwards. And yeah, I just felt good the whole time. I didn't feel quite myself, um, but it wasn't terrible. Um, and then felt okay after, uh, was able to sleep okay. And then Sunday morning, woke up with a, I wouldn't even call it a headache, but just feeling a bit groggy and like maybe just a little tension in my head. Um, but that wasn't awful either. And then, yeah, got outside again. Uh, went for a bike ride, uh, walked the dogs, and then, uh, yeah, did a little workout later. So I felt like the exercise helped. Now, I know it's going to vary for person to person. Some people are going to have a much worse off uh, withdrawal period from caffeine than others. Um, I really thought, for me, I'm very sensitive to, you know, when I have an extra coffee, um, and when I try to reduce, so I thought it was going to be a much worse, maybe the exercise helped. And so I did look into, um, is there actually any research, uh, to base this on does actually exercise actually help. So yeah, I was able to find one study where they had people ingest coffee and then while they were having the withdrawal from the caffeine, they basically did a 20 minute. Uh, walk on a treadmill. And what they found was that people's uh, withdrawal symptoms, the caffeine, the CWS caffeine withdrawal symptoms questionnaire, um, people uh, kind of, yeah, showed less uh, symptoms. So um, here is the baseline. So people don't have symptoms because they haven't had coffee. And then in the middle, uh, this little middle bar, people show symptoms, and then they're given the exercise, and then, yeah, their symptoms go back down. And the study didn't said that it's not a significant, a statistically significant um, result, but nonetheless, it still shows that something as simple as a 20-minute walk can actually help. Um, and the study also showed that it improved exercise improved working memory. So yeah, if you do want something to ease those withdrawal symptoms, I would suggest, yeah, do something aerobic like walking, running, uh, biking, going to the gym. Really, I, I would say anything that you really like and that, you know, you can kind of immerse yourself into. Uh, being outdoors is great. 
Um, for me, uh, rock climbing is a lot of fun and it's physical, but it's not overly taxing. Um, I think something like that would, uh, would really help kind of ease the, the withdrawal from caffeine. It reminds me of when I first tried to fast for multiple days. And I remember the first time I tried it, I went pretty much all day without eating. And then at the end of the day, I got home from work and I went and sat on the couch and uh, I started watching TV and automatically I was just like, yeah, forget this. I'm going to the fridge and I got some food. Um, so then I tried, you know, a few weeks or months later, I can't remember. Uh, but I knew like I couldn't just sit down and watch TV. I got home from work and I immediately went and got my bike and I went and uh, did a long bike ride and um, actually biked somewhere and then hiked. And then that just really helped kind of distract me. Um, you know, I, I think that is going to be something that's going to be helpful. So um, hope those uh, tips helped. Uh, I, I'll certainly post uh, update videos in the future if um, in this next uh, 30 days anything interesting happens, if my symptoms become worse, um, or when I actually return to coffee, what that experience is like. So uh, definitely just subscribe um, for those updates and then any other uh, self-experiments. Okay, take care.